Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the Google Street View into Blender 3.1. So now you can see my Blender 3.1 now. This is a Google Street View. And now you can see it is really a 360 degree panorama. And you can see this is a sphere. This is a UV sphere. And how are we going to grab any of the Google Street View into Blender 3.1. Start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. Alright, the first step, you can just scroll down, go to my video descriptions. I already put a link at there, get street view gravel here. <coughs> you can just download from here. This is a zip file. Once you already download it, you have to extract it into the folder. You will get this folder, Street View Gravel, Street, Street View Gravel 1.6.0. Open it. And next, what you are going to do is just enter, enter the Google Street View through the Google Map. That is the www.google.com maps. You can scroll down, go to my video description and click into the Google Map link. And now I'm going to enter this. This is the maps.google.com. Alright, for any of the street view, you can just scroll down. Then you click the road. You should be able to see the street view at there. Right. You click any road, the street view is at there. If like this, it is not available. If you click in this way, for example, you click here. Then the street view is available, then it will show a picture right here. You just need to click in. And this is the Google Street View. Now you can see this is the street view. If you want to capture this, you have to open the street view grabber from, from the zip file that you had downloaded and extracted. Double click the F the SV grab. Double click in and next. The quality, you choose the second one. Then untick the crop panorama. From your street view, you have to copy the link. Right click copy. And then it already stored in your clipboard. Next, you click add panel. Do you want to import URLs from clipboard? Here you choose yes. And next you click grab. Now you can see an output folder is generated. And here you click OK, close it. Under the, the output folder, you, you open it. You can see this is the street view. This is exactly the street view panorama picture. So what you are going to do is, from your blender, this one, I'm going to restart the blender. I don't save it. The final step, you can import into the blender. But I'm going to show you step by step how are you going to get this. You enter the Blender, this is the Blender 3.1. The first step, I'm going to delete everything because this is just a demo. I will delete the camera, delete the cube and also delete the light. Here I just need to click Add Mesh. Add Mesh UV Sphere. Now you can see, this is a UV Sphere and then you can see there are so many edges that you, you still can see. So right click it, shade smooth, so that you can get a smooth sphere. Next, you click here to turn on the viewport shading and click here. Now you can see this sphere doesn't have any of the texture. You, you must click plus new. Under the base color, you click this dot, image texture. Choose image texture and then you have to click open. But where is it? Now it is at here. It is on my desktop, this folder. So copy the, the destination location, right click copy and then back to the blender here. Click open and click here, control V to paste and press enter. Now you should be able to see this PNG file. If you double click it, now you can see it already loaded 
And this UV sphere already have the texture and the texture itself is the Google Street View. And of course you have you can make it bigger. You click and press press S to make it bigger. Control Z and press S to make it bigger. Now you can see this is a big sphere. And actually you can do the 3D animations at here. Now the Google Street View already in your Blender 3.1. And if you do any 3D animation here, you can see the background. Alright. These are the ways on how to import the Google Street View into Blender 3.1. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful for 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy animation and game developing! See you!